I, I was your uh, second full day at sea. I, I was unfortunately unable to be there. I heard that the Fancy Pants Parade was quite fancy. It was extremely fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a difficult decision that needs to be made at the Fancy Pants Parade. Yeah, the old, the heavy hangs the crowd. That's right, that's right. On the US to judge the Fancy Pants Parade. That's what they say. Apparently you wear a crown. Yeah. Uh, welcome to, to Robot Day. We have many funny robots out here. I've seen you throughout the day. And I'll see you all and say a happy beep-boop. As you can see, we are also dressed as robots. Yes. I said, no, we're going to start coordinating what we're doing because this looks ridiculous. I was thinking about saying, we look like the weirdest ages of man poster that I've ever Moshe shaved, clothed, clothed shaved us so hard the other night that we just walked, waved off into some other parallel universe. It was like some ill-informed boy band. Yeah, it was the shittiest, it was the shittiest, the shittiest uh, album cover of the club. I'm a guy. We're whatever. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Moshe being an afro? <laughs> I got shaved all of them. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot of sugar nights, so we're going to get right to our morning announcement. It's been the students. Uh, first and foremost, I have to issue extremely humble apologies on my behalf. Uh, there were a number of folks in the 24-7 uh, gaming tables in the Lido. Uh, Myrtle Lafferty Myrtle Lafferty was hosting a gaming event, and because I had scheduled it across the closing of the main dining room, I put in the description of it that it was going to be taking place in the Lido in that section. I neglected to inform any of our team about that fact. So they ended up coming and going and I believe forcibly ejecting a table or two. If any of you are here, first of all, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize that was my bad. And second of all, let me know after the show. We've got John Deere being puzzled. <laughs> Hopefully they can eject more than 13 people for a great show. Uh, tonight, a couple of very awesome things. Another live RPG gaming session happening right here at 10.30. Anybody come last night? Yeah. It's going to be great. Your, uh, your special guest players this evening are going to be Merle Lafferty and Mark Gaggs Gagliardi. So that'll be fun. And also out on the CD deck tonight is Drew's party, our party in Slag. Our party in Slag. Once. Boston Paradise, before that, the dress party, also Pride. We're not sure what the theme is, but we really hope you join us. Yeah. There, there shall be back deck juice. Oh, yes. Oh, and also, uh, Lee Ortiz is going to once again do the yes, uh, drag king number at that, so that will be awesome. Well, we learned an interesting fact about the news back deck juice number two in the ranking of cocktails sold on board. Uh, and an unfortunate double entendre. A double entendre, as of today, Drew's Dak Deck Juice is number two. <laughs> Why right behind? The Bloody Mary. No, 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 it's actually what it is. Yeah, true, yeah. sure, true. Sure. Right away was number four. Oh. Wow. I see the excuses in the church, I believe. <laughs> when you come to the king. <laughs> um, only one suggestively named cocktail can remain. Does anyone remember what number three was? I don't know. It was Coke. Oh, it's Coke. It was Coke. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. I think we were all uh, the old Coke Zeros that were drank by John Scalzi, which really helped boost the numbers. Uh, you may have seen, and if not, uh, you will eventually see in all of your uh, state rooms today the uh, enrollment form. For uh, Luggage Direct. I know, you don't want to think about the end of the cruise yet, but eventually it's going to happen. Uh, this is a service that the ship provides where, for a fee per bag, you can have them take your bag at midnight on the last night. They will take it off the ship and send it to the airport and check it onto your flight form. You don't have to touch that bag until you land back home. Uh, the reason I. Yeah, it's awesome. The reason I mention it now is the deadline to turn in these forms is, as it says in the red up top, mid, uh, March 13th, which is 
two days from now at 5 p.m. And if you miss that deadline, there's nothing we or they can do about it. So if you're considering taking advantage of that program, make sure you don't go out. It's the tractor of luggage services. <laughs> also, uh, today, onboard booking has opened for Jumbo Cruise 2025. <laughs> Drew, you care to talk a little bit about that? Indeed, uh, this evening you will find, if you have not already found, onboard booking forms in your stateroom. If you're missing an onboard booking form, you can find them down in the atrium at the info desk. And if you're so antsy to book on board for Joe Cruise 2025 that you just can't wait until you get back to your stateroom, the onboard booking team is outside the theater on deck two, and you can complete you're on, we're looking for them there. And Wait, no, they're, they're, they're up here. here. They're actually in there. They're up here. Oh, oh, they're 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 uh, there's a small inventory of suites and interior statements left on our website. Um, and I believe that I haven't just misspoken, although the final answer is what's available is on the forms. Um, forms, booking forms will get uh, priority uh, on their placement requests in the order that they're receiving the process by. So if you have a specific place room, well, guys, it's <laughs> great. We got a specific state room request. We can write that on the form, we'll track the order that we got it, and we'll make sure that that makes it into the booking engine on land. And don't worry, we're going to talk about this for like eight more hours between now and the end of the week, too. So if you missed some of that, we'll review tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, speaking of which, we're going to meet Brandon Turk. <laughs> that would be nice to go out and touch sand. I don't know how much grass is really that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Or you can stay here on the ship and just chill or do whatever. It's your cruise, you do what you want with it. Within legal limits. Um, also, one last thing, uh, the end of the announcements. So we have had, we, there are a couple of bookings on this cruise who unfortunately due to travel delays uh, were unable to join the cruise when we sailed. They, they got delayed late enough that they missed the cruise. One of those bookings is taking a three-legged flight to Grand Turk and will be meeting us there. The other booking, so the new Staten Dam sailed on Sunday from Fort Lauderdale and is stopping in Grand Turk tomorrow, just like us. So there's one of the booking who purchased a booking on the new Staten Dam, are sailing on it, and boarding in Grand Turk. This is where you, you come in. At 10 a.m., uh, which is, we know when they'll be boarding, we would like to welcome them. If you are still on the ship and around, if you can get to the port side of the ship, either if your room is on the port side to get to your window or to your balcony, or on deck three, the promenade deck on the port side at 10 a.m., we would have where there's sort of a little welcoming thing happening. I don't even know what it is. Drew won't tell us. It's a secret. Uh, but if you want to be part of that, just at 10 a.m., we'll make an announcement tomorrow. But it would be cool and fun, we think. So, thank you guys. Welcome to the board. Bring me two bubbles. Yes. <laughs> they won't know what they are at all, no. They won't even appreciate the room again. <laughs> We're sending one of them to the new satin dam. And they'll be on that. Uh, that ends the morning announcements.